So what is a scratch golfer? To most weekend golfers, becoming a scratch golfer is just a dream. To those golfers, it represents that they are at the top of the amateur game and they've achieved a really high level of competency with their golf. Much like the aspiration of being called a black belt in martial arts, it has a significant level of prestige and status. However, what is a scratch golfer? How many are there? And how do you become one? Well, in this video, I'll aim to answer all of these important questions. Keep listening and you'll understand what a scratch golfer is and if it matches your definition and if you'll get there. To the majority of golfers, the term scratch golfer refers to your handicap index. And a scratch golfer is a player with a handicap of zero. They can play any golf course and generally shoot level par. The handicap is a way golf officials measure a player's ability to score around a golf course. If you're a zero handicap or scratch, you'll generally shoot level par around a golf course. If you're a newer golfer, you might have a higher handicap and take more shots to complete a round. The more you practice over time and the more competent you get at the game, the lower your handicap will reduce. Eventually, you too might become a scratch golfer. It is worth noting that the handicap system doesn't stop at zero. It goes below zero. In this case, a golfer is so good, they need to add shots onto their round to make it fair for the other players. When Sergio Garcia turned professional, his handicap was plus seven. That's seven shots below scratch. But how do you become a scratch golfer? Keep listening and I'll give you our top tips. Number one, natural ability. Whether we like it or not, to be a top performer in any type of sport, you'll need a level of natural ability. This doesn't mean you need to be the next Rory McIlroy, but you need to have a good hand-eye coordination. Now it's always recommended to start golf at an early age, but it's not always required. Take World Golf Hall of Famer, Sir Nick Faldo. He didn't start playing until he was 18 years old, but still went on to win many major golf tournaments. Number two, coaching. The best golfers in the world and the top amateur golfers all have taken lessons from trained golf coaches. This is not cheap, but like anything in life, the, you get the best advice, you get the best results. If you want to be a scratch golfer, you need to take lessons along the way. Number three, practice. To be an excellent golfer and to play off scratch, you'll need to put in a lot of practice. Golf is a difficult game that requires a high level of technique and feel in your shots. The more you practice, the better you'll become. Some amateur scratch golfers practice more than they play. For them, this is the only way they'll improve their game. Number four, good temperament. In golf, like many other sports, your ability to stay calm is key to being successful. Top scratch golfers can keep a cool head even when they're playing badly or have just hit the worst shot of their life. This can be especially difficult if you spent a lot of time practicing. You need to model yourself on Tiger Woods, who was known as the Iceman because he didn't let any emotions get to him, even when he was having the worst round of his life. Number five, willpower. This is linked to practice. If you want to achieve this very difficult goal of becoming a scratch golfer, you need to have strong willpower. The ability to keep pushing through to your golfing goal, despite dips and disappointments of playing bad shots or having a bad round, is really important. Top scratch golfers have strong willpower and a positive attitude. This gets them back onto the course or practice ground each week. They're determined to achieve their goals despite the setback. Now golf is a game of skill, but it's also a game of luck. You can be playing badly during a round and you might find that your scores are still very good. If you are follow our five tips and keep practicing as much as you can, you'll soon be on your way to becoming a scratch golfer. As golfing legend Gary Player once famously said, the harder I practice, the luckier I get. So for those golfers who are getting close to scratch, do you need to be a scratch golfer to turn professional? Well, it's worth noting that you don't need to be a scratch golfer to turn professional. Ian Poulter famously turned professional when he had a handicap of only four. It goes to show you don't always need a zero handicap. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.